Welcome to episode 32 of the tutorial series Live Y3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, I want us to handle multiple file uploads and I also want us to have an upload indicator that you'll be able to just show the progress of our upload. So we will have a progress indicator implementation also. So let us go ahead and look at what we are supposed to do. I'm going to create a component. So let me just clear this because it's displaying poorly. So I'm going to run PHP artisan make live wire. I want to call our component multiple multiple uploads like that. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to create our component. I want us to go to our web.php and create the routes for that. And so I'm going to just copy this route here and replace and we are going to call it multiple hyphen uploads like that. And here also for the class, we are going to call it multiple uploads like that. I also want us to import the live wire class above here. And again, the name is multiple uploads like that. So basically now once we have it like that, we can actually be able to access our component. If I run localhost 8000 forward slash multiple hyphen uploads, we can be able to access our component. I want us to open the blade view for this component and be able to do some modifications. I want us to change this name here and call it uh, multiple file upload like that. And then I need to have a form here, form, which we will close it like that. And then inside our form, we are going to have an input, but let me have a div with a class of um, MB-3 to just give it some little bit of styling. We will close that div. And inside here is where I want us to have our input. So input, input type is a file. And then the we need to have wire model wire model in this case i'm going to call it files and then of course we can give it a class of so form control hyphen control like that and then i want it to i want it to have the multiple attribute to just ensure that it can allow us to be able to pick several files from our machine, not just one file. So I believe that is that. And then I also wanted to have an ID. Sometimes when you reset a form in live where once the upload has been done and then you are resetting the form, you, you remain with either the name of the file that you had uploaded previously or maybe even the number of files that are in there in the upload. So for us to be able to delete that, I want to pass an ID here, which I want it to be unique. That is the only idea that I have. So here, what we are going to have is a uh, files, you call it files, then we can be able to pass in the ID uh, at property, which I'm going to set in our live work class. So we have files and then the ID. So the ID we will try and ensure that is different at every instant. And once we are able to achieve that, we will be able to be resetting our form very nicely. Now I want us to have a button. And here I want to call this button upload like that. And then we want to give it a class of a BTN, BTN primary like that. And then I also want to have wire submit here where we will be submitting our form. 
to the method so in this case our method i want to call it upload file remember in live wire upload is a reserved word you cannot be able to use it so you can be able to add something in front of it to be able to just uh, make it look nice so basically this is what we have i also want to just size my form a little bit i'm going to add a class here of uh, offset hyphen three column six to just make whatever it is that we have look nice i'm not going to refresh because it's going to give us the error for id and i want to go to our live wire uh, class that is multiple file upload i open it and here i want to import the attribute with file uploads so live wire with with uh, file uploads like that and then i can be able to use that attribute here so you can have use uh, with file uploads like that and then now i want us now to go ahead and set our properties so in this case we we are going to have two properties only the first one is uh, so public files is the files property the one that will be holding our files and i'm going to set it on empty array and then there is this id public id which this one we are going to just use to increment it to give our um, input a different id every single time i also want to do validation and i'm going to do um, the validation using the rule attribute so i'm going to import use live wire uh, attributes rule like that then obviously now for our files i can be able to pass a rule here and so you have hash and then square brackets and then rule and inside here i want us because we are we are we are checking the rules for an array we are going to have an array here which we are going to call files and then we are going to check for anything inside the array so i'll just put files and then put a star in front of it and this one is supposed to be inside quotations like that and then now we can be able to put our validation rules here so the first thing i want it to be a file and then i want i want it to be required so if we click upload without um, having anything uh, uploaded or in other words anything picked from our machine it should be able to give us an error and i want it to be having a max of 10 24 that is 1 mb and i think that is good enough i want us to work on saving so here we are going to have public uh, function upload i think it was small upload file like that and then inside here we can be able to maybe check our validation so we can be able to just call this uh, validate that way and then on top of that now we can be able to look through our files and be able to upload so in this case, I have an for, a for each uh, loop. So for each, in this case, um, we are checking for the files. So these uh, files as file, so uh, plural to singular. And then we can be able to go ahead and save our file. So we are going to have file. And this is the property that now has our single file and then we can have store and then inside here we can pass the, the folder with which we want to save our files so let me just save it in files that would be good enough of course you can be able to pass the folder where you want to save it 
after that I want to reset the files in other words to remove the files from the property so in this case I can say this uh, reset and I want to reset files so you return it to an empty uh, array and then I also want to increment the ID so this ID in this case we will have we will have plus plus to just increment it and then we can have session uh, flash and we are going to pass in our um, status let us say success and then we can be able to say files because now in this case we are targeting to save a little bit more than one file so files saved success fully like that then of course i need to give the id an initial value of one so in this case we can say uh, we can say id is equals to one like that so basically that is what we have on this side I need to go to our live wire class to be able to I mean our live wire component to be able to handle the session message but here as you can see we are having this is a code that we have in upload file so let me go back to our blade file and I want us to handle two things to be able to handle the session message and also be able to handle validation so the session message I can uh, Maybe we can be able to display it above form. So here we can say at if session and inside here we can pass success and then we can have at end if like that and here inside here we have a div div with a class of um, of uh, alert alert success and then inside here we can pass our session message so here we can have session success like that and that will be able to handle for us the session messages I want to refresh and see how it looks like. Ah, we are, we are having a very nice uh, form. I also want to implement um, the loader. So in this case, the progress bar, which will indicate for us that our files have been uploaded successfully. And to do this, I'm going to just go to the LiveWare documentation. So LiveWare.laravel.com my internet is having issues let me try and see what i can be able to do about that and in our in the live wire documentation i am looking at uh, storing uploaded files and we are looking at progress indicators so if you can be able to check you can be able to get whatever it is that i'm going to uh, copy so here we have a div and here is it's, it's, it's just an alpine component that is used to display a progress indicator so i'm not going to create one since we have one that is already implemented for us here we are going to use it for now and what i want us to do i want to have it uh, inside where we have the form so here i'm going to have it here and so this is the opening tag for our div and I would like to close it at the end where we have the button so I'm going to close our div here like that but of course we need to also pass in our progress indicator which I'm going to put it here so I want us to have a div with a class of mb3 again mb-3 and inside here is where I would like to put our progress indicator now 
and so we can go and copy it here and this is what we have so we are we are showing when we have anything uploading we will show this indicator so let me just copy and paste inside here now you can see we are having uh, the hooks that we are listening to we are listening to when it's uploading at the initial we are setting it to false and then now when we start uploading we can be able to set it to true and then when we finish uploading we set it to false and then uh, we can be able to have the progress that is passed by event the detailed pro progress and then of course now we will be showing that uploading uh, a property in this case so let me save and then refresh we see what we have now i can be able to refresh and then i want us to choose several files from my fi fi from my machine without any consideration because in this case we are not specifying that the, the the meme types and whatever so all those i want to upload all of them and as you can see when we are uploading we are having the indicator there when i click upload now you can see file saved successfully and then that means we have been able to upload all the files without an issue this is the end of this tutorial episode if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up i also encourage you to share this video and you can also be able to comment if you have a question in the comment section thank you very much